Today on Ham Radio Q&A, I discuss the announcement of Yesu's new dual band mobile radio, the FTM300DR. What does this rig have that the others doesn't? We'll keep watching to find out. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, Gigaparts broke the news this week of a new mobile radio coming from Yesu. The FTM300DR is a dual-band mobile transceiver with Yesu's C4FM System Fusion digital mode built into it. At this time, it's difficult to tell if the FTM300 is a replacement of the FTM400 or not. But it seems like the FTM300 is being poised in the product lineup at Yesu for, in Yesu's product lineup as an upper tier mobile radio. So now we'll talk about that in a bit. But first, I want to run down the, uh, some of the specs and features of what the FTM300 will deliver. First off, Yesu's FTM300 has 50 watts of RF power on both the 144 to 148 megahertz VHF band and 430 to 450 megahertz UHF bands. It also has wideband receive between 108 megahertz and 999 megahertz, although the 800 megahertz cellular bands are blocked in the US version. As I mentioned, it will transmit on the 2 meter VHF and 70 centimeters uh, UHF bands. It has a double conversion super heterodyne receiver for increased sensitivity and selectivity for weaker signals and rejection of adjacent um, signals in a strong RF environment. Modulation includes F3E, which is, a, which is the standard frequency modulation, and 4FSK, which is Yesu's C4FM digital modulation. Speaking of C4FM, a notable new feature of this radio is its simultaneous C4FM digital monitoring on both the A and the B bands. Unlike the FTM400, which only can monitor C4FM on the A band, this new radio will have two digital vocoders, so you can monitor two digital signals simultaneously. The radio has two true dual band operation, so um, the A and the B bands operate independent of each other. So you can do VHF, 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 UHF, et cetera, et cetera. Any combination of VHF and UHF uh, reception and transmissions between the A and the B bands. The front panel display is the most notable new feature of this radio. It features a two inch full color um, TFT uh, display, but this radio does not have the capacitive touch screen that you find on the FTM 400. The radio, um, instead you access the controls uh, via 10 buttons and four knobs that are on the front panel. And if you look at the picture, uh, this radio seems to have an upgraded microphone with bigger buttons than the standard microphones that uh, has come with uh, previous uh, Yesu mobile radios. Now one novel feature of this radio is what Yesu calls their memory channel auto grouping. Memory channels are automatically uh, categorized in each band and memory channels can be easily and quickly uh, recalled by four in, within the four band groups. Uh, the aviation band, uh, the VHF, the UHF, and the general received bands. There are 1,104 memory channels and I'm going to presume that the number that this number of channels also includes all of the home and priority channels that would be part of the memory channel lineup. But there's no word in the um, description or specifications that if the FTM300 supports memory banks or not. The FTM300DR has a built-in GPS and provides uh, some GPS navigational features on the display. It also has a built-in um, 1200 and 9600 baud data modem for APRS support. Up to this point in uh, Yesu's mobile lineup is that um, Bluetooth has always been an option, but um, for the FTM300, uh, Bluetooth is built in as a standard feature for hands-free operation if you use the Yesu SM MBT10 uh, Bluetooth headset or a commercially available product. For system fusion support, the FTM300DR supports the WiresX portable digital node function and fixed mode function with the optional uh, HRI200 device. The radio has simultaneous C4FM monitoring, so you can set your um, 
Wires X communications on one channel while monitoring another local channel at the same time. Say you want to listen to two different rooms, you could listen to one room on Wires X and then through a fusion repeater you could listen to a second room. Now I didn't talk yet about the physical unit, uh, but the main unit is uh, 5.47 inches by 1.66 inches by uh, 5.2 inches deep. And uh, the head is uh, 5.47 by 2.09 by 0.7 inches thick. Uh, the main unit is cooled by what Yusu calls their heavy duty heat sink and funnel air convection conductor, wind tunnel. Uh, the speaker delivers three watts of audio power, and it has two speaker jacks, uh, one for the A band and one for the B band. Now, one thing I'm going to point out that's not listed in, this, in the description or specs, but if you look at the picture closely, it appears that the control head can be operated in a both detached from the main unit and uh, attached configuration. The control has, head has similar dimensions as the main unit, and it's almost, although it's almost a half inch taller. Uh, looking closer in the picture, you'll see that the, um, what there appears to be a tab on the side of the head, and the main unit has space so that to accept the head. In fact, to verify this, in reading the specification and what's included in the box, Yesu includes both a control cable for operation uh, with mounting the front panel, and a 10 foot control cable for remote operation. And this, um, this, this uh, con a dual head configuration, either attached or detached, may be a game cha changer for some people that were looking for an attached head configuration in their, in their mobile operation. So what are my thoughts about uh, this new radio? You know, like I mentioned earlier, it appears that uh, Yesu is positioning this as their upper tier dual band mobile unit. Now, I don't believe that we're going to see this as a replacement of the FTM400 for a couple of reasons. First off is the price. According to Gigaparts, the FTM300 will retail around $439, although you know that could change when it actually um, starts, starts to ship. Um, and that's quite close to the selling price, the street price of the FTM400. Uh, the FTM400 retails at $549, and after all discounts and coupons are applied, it's got a street price of around $470. So while price alone puts this radio at the top of the lineup, um, after the initial offering, you know, we're going to see some coupons and discounts that will put it more in line with um, where it should be in the ASU lineup. Next is the product name, uh, the FTM300. Yesu intentionally numbered this unit to lie between the 400 and the less feature-rich um, FTM100. But conversely, you know, the FTM400, although upgraded over its product life, has been on the market since 2014. The FTM300 has some unique features like um, dual C4 FM support that the FTM400 doesn't have, but still the FTM400 you know, features a larger touchscreen display that is obviously missing from the FTM300. You know, I think what we see here is that a lot of the features that are found in Yesu's new um, FT3DR handheld have been kind of transferred over to the FTM300 um, as a sort of um, a nice sort of uh, product uh, matchup between the two. Um, but um, what we really have here are some conflicts between price, features, and age. On, on a product line standpoint, this may make it difficult for Yesu to continue to offer both units as they do seem to be quite similar in features. But positioning you know, the FTM300 as a mid-tier unit may allow Yesu to upgrade the FTM400 as, as a newer and more capable um, top-of-the-line deluxe um, dual-band mobile transceiver. Uh, so maybe what the purpose is, is that um, you know, as a mid-tier radio, the FTM300 will compete with the FTM100. But you know, I have a hard time seeing that happening as there really is a wide price gap between the um, uh, street price of 274 for an FTM 100 and a 499 initial price for the FTM 300. You know, I guess we'll see after the initial offering of this radio what Yesu does uh, with the pricing and, and the incentives to drop it more in line where I believe it should be within the Yesu's product lineup.
But here's a thought. Um, maybe Yesu will drop the FTM 7250, which has been on the market for quite some time. Retails for $204 and um, seems to be um, out of stock at the moment. Uh, that would open up the lineup to have three, three models, a basic unit, a uh, basic dual band unit, the FTM 100, a mid-tier FTM 300, and the top of the line FTM 400. Uh, that, might be the, that might be the most logical route to go. But that's way too much speculation, and I really do not have any inside knowledge of what Yesu is thinking. I can only go with what information I've gleaned from reliable sources and my past sales and marketing experience. You know, um, let's see, with the FTM 300, estimated shipping time is about April of 2020. So, you know, we're going to see a big push on this radio as uh, we approach the Dayton Hamvention. Uh, one final note, although the documents submitted to the FCC for, um, for a product ID, you know, uh, it appears that the Yaesu FTM 300DR is manufactured in South Korea, I find uh, interesting. Um, and also, I, I'll provide a link uh, to the um, test report submitted to the FCC down in the video description below if you want to see some of the other uh, more technical specs and uh, test results for this radio. So do you have any questions or comments on the upcoming ASU FTM 300DR? Well, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Uh, see if your reasoning is along the same lines as mine. And I'll follow up on the conversation in our next Your Questions Answered video. But for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. So like I always say, um, you can help me out by giving me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Check out some of the recommended videos. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. Subscribing uh, to my channel and clicking on that bell notification will inform you when future videos are released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, keep an eye on VBR. Have a great day and 73.